Few UFOs are already standing by around the Earth, so they can balance the energy of the Earth. So I guess they're not someone in our imagination, much closer to us than you think. In fact, I recently realized that the messages I receive are mostly from the Galactic Federation. So is Galactic Federation watching over us and supporting the Earth? Hi, it's Starseed Channel. I'm Yoshi. Hi, I'm Akiko. Nice to see you again. Today's topic is about the Galactic Federation. I only know a little bit about Galactic Federation. Can you tell us what is it all about? To be honest with you, I haven't grasped the whole picture either. But what I do is simply to connect with them. One thing it's clear is that the universe is all about balance. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, they keep balance among all the other planets and the entire universe, and that's what they do as an organization. They are a group of star beings, just like a parliament force on the Earth. It's like combination of elementary particles gathering up among all the planets in the universe and they form a federation. It's not just one, but there are a few different organizations which they do different tasks, but they all are a mixture of various star beings got together. Mm, I have a question. Go ahead. So these federations are formed by star beings. Are they all from Milky Way galaxy? No, I don't think so. Oh, they're not. Milky Way Galaxy is only a part of whole universe. Mm. They comprehend the whole universe, and the Milky Way Galaxy, including the Earth, is only one part of the area they cover. Mm, I see. Mm. Mm -hmm. So they're dealing with the balance of the entire universe. Mm, I see. So they are watching over us to support us? Exactly. What they are aiming is an ascension of the Earth safely. Well, they sometimes guide us and provide us a way so that we don't choose a path which takes us away from our ascension. They do mostly what PR departments do. Their mission is to spread the idea of what universe is all about to us human beings, for our own good. I could say that's what they're doing for us. Mm. I'm curious what sort of planets these members of the Federation are from. Do you know which planets are they from? Some are from Milky Way Galaxy, but they are also from some other galaxies as well. Having said that, there are several different teams within the Galactic Federation, and those in charge of the Earth are mostly from Milky Way Galaxy. Mm, does that include Arcturus? Mm -hmm, you're right. Those familiar names are included like Arcturus. Also Pleiades and Sirius. Mm -hmm. So they gather and discuss what is the best way to guide the Earth towards to an ascension. Yes, yes, you're right. They discuss how they can support human beings to achieve an ascension safely. And sometimes they fix our energy so we can make a way to a safe direction. All right. However, I think they are basically very neutral. Um, what about fixing our energy? What exactly do they do? For example, let's say there were intense rain in a particular area. Mm -hmm, okay. And that means all sorts of energy will be concentrated at the area. In order to clean and cleanse the area, star beings from various places gather and adjust the energy of the ground to make it neutral. 
They also adjust things through people, including getting necessary messages and such. Mm. Mm. They often connect with me too. It is like connecting to my higher self, or soul, and my guys, which I am normally connected with. Mm. And I also think you and the viewers are deeply connected with Galactic Federation too. Mm. Speaking of rain, we had an unusual amount of rain for a while in Japan. And it's been predicted to rain for two weeks, which isn't usual for the season. It just isn't a right season for massive rain. But now it certainly stopped and look how sunny it is outside. Mm. Is this what you just said? Also an adjustment to what Galaxy Federation do? Yes, definitely. They are putting so much effort to support us right now. It isn't only Galactic Federation, but all star beings are supporting us. Mm -hmm. It seems they have few different kinds of federations which might be called Alliance and Council, for example. I think people for watching this video have got some sort of relation with the Galactic Federation in past lives. Some may find another organization attractive, then that's probably a sign that they have a relation with that organization. Mm. We're connected from the past. I see. Do you remember, someone told us that they can see our past lives when we were on the same UFO. Mm. So we were told that we were on the same ship with many other people. Do you think that was when we were in the Galactic Federation? Ah, you may be right. I believe it was the Galactic Federation ship. You were definitely a member of the Galactic Federation. And I have deep connection with them also since when I was an Arcturian. Oh, is that right? Yes. You mean you were going around planets to planets when you were an Arcturian? Mm -hmm, yes, yes. Perhaps it's that when you found the Earth. Mm, the most important role is to balance the entire universe, and the mission on the Earth to find something new was one of the reasons for it. Especially we're in the middle of ascension right now, which caused some serious confusion, and it's important to maintain balance. For example, where the light is too strong, sometimes darkness is necessary to be added. It might be a strong expression, but likewise, adding light to darkness is also an important mission for them to keep balance of yin and yang of the universe. Mm. Okay, if I and the viewers are related to the Galactic Federation, I'm guessing people like to feel them by receiving message directly from them. How can we all do that? The best way is to channel with them, definitely. See how you feel if it brings back any memories. How do you feel, Yoshi? The Galactic Federation? Mm -hmm. Let me try. Yeah, please do. You just raise your eyebrow. <laughs> they just do. <laughs> what nimble eyebrows. I'm not too sure if it's because I've already heard things from you. I saw me and you are on that UFO with other people, and it's circulating. Mm -hmm. It was all peaceful, and I felt unease. That's the image came up in my mind. Ah, oh, the message. Do I ask for a message right now? Yeah. Since you just saw a vision, I see. Yes, you can ask for a message to you and the people who are watching this video. Oh, that's a good idea. Let me ask for a message to the Galactic Federation today instead of asking my bear that I usually do on our video. Wow, that's a step forward for you and I'm happy to hear that. Oh yeah? I've been called Channeler Yoshi recently, apparently. <laughs> anyway, I'll try. Yes, please. Okay, Galactic Federation, a message for the viewers, please. Oh, I think I got some message. Please do relax, and I mean super relaxed. By the way, I don't know why, but it's got dialogues. 
You now see many different social movements and you went through difficulties in the past. On top of that, you may be anxious about what will happen in future. But in truth, it's you. It's you who have chosen a path and therefore you are standing where you are right now. And now, and it's time to create a new generation with your comrades. Focus on the joy of creation. It's a joy. A world full of light and eternal love. Make sure you stay in that state. And that was it. Thank you. That was a nice message. Did I do it right? Of course. So everyone is capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. As long as you intend to connect with them, you will. They're very close to you than you think. So many of them are already here on the earth. It shouldn't be that difficult. Can you make a little bit more clear how to have vision again? Is it better to think they're close to you in distance, not far away in the universe? It might be easier to imagine them floating up around the Earth, which they actually are. Many of the UFOs are floating around the Earth now. You mean right now? Floating? Oh, wow. Yes, they have various units within the Federation. Few UFOs are already standing by around the Earth, so they can balance the energy on the entire Earth. Mm. Mm. You should be able to feel them closely, and it's because they are there and looking after the Earth. Mm. They are always there for us. I feel like we should thank them then. Ah, yes, I agree. Having said that, we all do our bit as well. We are all team. We can both show gratitude to each other. I see. How about the mission we do whilst we're asleep? Mm, that's one of the important mission too. The fact we all exist on the Earth simply raise the frequencies. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be something special. Just being here on the Earth means we're doing our mission already. We can grasp what we do by our consciousness, but whilst we're sleeping, we work a lot like traveling to a different dimensions. Does that mean we work as a member of Galactic Federation whilst we're asleep? Yes, you're right. We travel and research other planets and so on. Mm, I see. Well, now can we please hear the message you receive? Okay, I'll ask them. Yes, please. In fact, I recently realized what I receive as messages are mostly from the Galactic Federation. A lot of them are abstract and also neutral. They are our gathered consciousness formed by many of star beings, so they are very neutral. Well, they are saying the Earth is going for a very ideal direction, so just feel relaxed about it. We all are tightly connected, so feel free to connect with us anytime. And now they're saying they're always there to support us and being close to us, so we can rely and feel peaceful. The connection between us and them are very strong according to them, including the viewers of this video. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. See you soon again, everybody. Dewa dewa. Dewa dewa. Thank you all.